Dear students, in this video we will be learning how to solve the linear equations by graphical method. Okay, so these are the steps to follow. <coughs> the first step is to making y the subject in both of the equations given, right? And then we'll create the tables for both equations and get at least three points uh, for each straight line. Then <coughs> we'll use the graph paper and I, I recommend you to use one centimeter graph paper uh, for this solution, right? Okay, then we'll set the scale, meaning one rep one centimeter or this large box representing how many units on both axes. And then we'll plot the points obtained from the tables for each straight line and uh, use the ruler to join those points to have two straight lines. And uh, the point where the uh, those two straight lines intersect each other, that point of intersection is actually the solution of the linear equations. Means the x-coordinate representing x and the y-coordinate of the point representing the value y. Right? Okay. Let's do some examples. Okay, students. We have two equations. The first one is 3x minus y is equal to 0 and the second one is 2x minus y equal to 1. Right? Say this is first equation and this is second. So we are going to solve these equations by using the graphical method. It means we have to plot the graph of each straight line. Right? And the point where these two straight lines intersect each other or uh, is called obviously the point of intersection so this is the solution of these two linear equations right so to <coughs> first of all I'm going to plot the first line but before that I need at least two or three points uh, of this line right so I'm taking the first equation from first equation or from 1 we have 3x minus y is equal to 0 Shifting this y to the right hand side becomes 3x minus 3x is equal to y. So we have made y the subject or we can write it as y is equal to 3x, right? So creating a table for this x and y. Now putting the different values of x uh, Suppose I am putting minus 2 first. So when you put minus 2 here, this 3 will be minus 2 gives you minus 6, right? Okay, then I am going to put 0. So 3 times 0 will give you 0. So the y will be equal to 0. Then suppose 1, yeah. When I put 1, 3 times 1 gives you 3. Right, so we obtain three points of this straight line. The same process should be done with the second equation. Okay, I'm writing from second. Two x minus y is equal to one. Right, so shifting this y to the left hand side uh, right hand side and one to the left side so we obtained uh, 2x minus y minus 1 equals y right or we can write it as y is equal to 2x minus 1 right so we have made y the subject now making a table for this straight line Okay, so x and y. Now I'm putting different values of x. Uh, suppose I'm putting minus 2. So what would happen? 2 times minus 2 minus 1 gives you what? Uh, minus 4. Minus 4 into minus. It will give you minus 5. Right? Next I'm putting uh, 0. <coughs> so 2 times 0 minus 1 will be equal to negative 1 then 3 so 2 times 3 minus 1 gives you what 5 2 3 is 6 6 minus 1 is 5 right so obtain, we obtained 3 points for the second straight line right 
Now I'm going to <coughs> plot this line before uh, plotting the lines. I, I need the XY plane or Cartesian plane. So drawing the Y axis in the middle, right? Just like this. Then X axis. with the ruler right so this is x axis right here this is x and there we have y now the next step is to <coughs> uh, set the scaling uh, as we see that uh, the values of x uh, start from negative 2 yeah, and uh, the maximum value of x is 3. So I think for one large box, one large box representing basically 1 centimeter is enough for one unit, right? On the y-axis, the minimum value is minus 6. Yes, we have uh, 6 large boxes in the negative y-axis and uh, maximum value of y is plus 5, right? So we have 5 boxes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we're going to set one centimeter for one unit on the x-axis right similarly this will be negative one negative two negative three negative four and negative five then on the y-axis one two three four and this one is five right The value of y on the negative y axis, uh, the minimum is minus 5. So, oh, yeah, sorry, minus 6. So, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, and the last one is minus 6. Okay, now I'm going to plot the points. The first point. Uh, uh, from first uh, straight line is minus 2 minus 6 so minus 2 is here x axis and minus 6 on the y axis is here so the minus 2 x coordinate and y coordinate is minus 6 so the point will be here right next 0 0 so 0 0 is the origin is here 1 3 1 x and 3 y so it's, it's here so I obtained three points, right? Now we can join these points with a ruler and uh, we obtain a straight line, right? Like this. Also mention the line equation 3x minus y is equal to 0, here, right? Okay. Do the same process with the second line, which is uh, 2x minus y equal to 1 and uh, the table values are these so there are three points negative 2 negative 5 is the first one so negative 2 in the x-axis negative 5 in the y-axis so this is the first point we have right then we have 0 negative 1 0 on the x-axis and negative on the y-axis negative 1 then 3 5 3 x-axis and 5 will be here so this is 3 and 5 got it so we have plotted the three points now we can join the these three points with the ruler and we obtain a straight line again right okay <coughs> okay mention this straight line as well so uh, the line equation is 2x minus y is equal to 1. Okay. Now you can see that uh, these two straight lines intersect at a point. And the point is this. Wait. Yeah, this one. So this is the point of intersection. And uh, we can write its uh, coordinates. The x coordinate is, you can see it is negative 1. This one, right? and the y coordinate is negative 3 right so the solution of these straight line equations 
is negative 1, negative 3, which is the point of intersection, right? Point of intersection. It means the value of x is negative 1 and the value of y is negative 3. So that's how we can use the graphical method to solve the simultaneous linear equations. The first step was creating a table for the first line, then creating a table for the second line, and then plot the, those points to obtain straight lines for each, right? And where these two straight lines intersect each other, that point of intersection is the solution of the simultaneous linear equation, right? Okay.